All right, so today I installed the floor vents, uh, six by tens, and uh, I did three for this big room. And I had to replace some plywood around where this one goes because it's rotten. And so that's all taken care of. And so tomorrow I can go underneath the house and connect the ductwork. The main line goes down here. I got six inch takeoffs that I put on those and then run to individual ductwork lines. All right, I'm getting ready to go underneath the house. So these are my uh, takeoffs for the HVAC. Uh, each side of the house has a, a run that's like the full length of the house. And so the HVAC unit sits on one side and you have a 12 inch line going to the other side. Actually, there's a 10 inch line. I'm gonna do it a 12 inch line. And so what I do is I cut this, this is actually one big circle, it's kind of rolled up, and that's the same diameter as that, and that gives me something to screw to because the ducking's real thin. And then I'm gonna have a bunch of six inch takeoffs coming from the center underneath the house, going to there, there, and there. And so I went ahead and cut those. And so I'm gonna go underneath the house, and I'll cut my holes in the HVAC uh, ductwork, and then I'll put uh, the metal on the inside, and then I'll use my metal tapping screws to clamp it down. So I removed the old HVAC, and I masked all the joints and retaped them. Also, I plugged the hole there and masked it with uh, duct sealant. And I pulled all the staples out, so this area is ready to be insulated and drywalled. So I got a little bit good bit of work done today, and tomorrow I'll come back here and insulate this. I got to run the wire for the HVAC. I'll go ahead and probably have that in the wall and ready to go, or come from underneath, and I'll have my emergency shut off ready. Try to get everything ready for the HVAC guy, and then he could just drop his unit right on this. Hopefully, he won't have to remove this at all. All right, I got an HVAC guy coming next week, so I got to get this slab done for the uh, outside heat pump. I know what you guys are thinking. This kind of looks large. Well, I couldn't get him to give me exact measurements, and so I just said I'll do it 40 by 60. So, yeah. I really hire the best of them, don't I? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna have this slab poured for the HVAC unit and uh, luckily there's a duck, uh, there's a basement vent right there he could run his line set through or I could punch a hole in the wall, whatever. And I'll have my electricity run 40 amps to the outside unit, 60 amps to the inside unit, double pull breakers, and uh, I'll have everything ready. Uh, emergency shutoffs installed and everything, so he just drops it in and we're done. All right, that's the finished product. Now it looks a little sloppy. It's actually been years since I poured a slab. Uh, I used to do sidewalks for a guy years, years ago. I was like 15. <laughs> 12 years ago. But, uh, looks good. Smooth it out one more time, call it good. And, uh, this will be where the air conditioner goes. Outside unit. It's probably not gonna take up this whole slab, which is fine. Maybe it'll be centered though, that'd be nice. So I got my emergency shutoff wired here. And this is so the HVAC workers can work on it. And they pull that fuse, it's not a fuse, it's just a on off thing. And uh, yeah, got that one wired up. That wire goes up to the attic all the way to the fuse box. So I got one out here, right below the slab. And I got easy access to run my line set through that grate. Same deal. You got your line in. Where it says line, that's where you put your two load wires. Your two uh, feed wires coming from the box. And then these two studs on each side go to your air conditioner. And then there's a ground bar. And you connect the grounds that way. Still gotta mount that thermostat. But uh, here it is, the finished product. This is a Goodman, two and a half ton, and it is installed and working beautifully. What they did is, uh, for trailers, um, you traditionally have to have a downdraft, uh, downdraft unit. What they do is they take the coil, or uh, not coil, but um, it's like a radiator, evaporator or whatever. Uh, and they move it from here to up here and then they move the fan here and the fans sucking through the filter And so the filter is up top now and that changes everything up and you can do that um, And it works basically is what the HVAC guy told me and it is working So uh, yeah, let's look at the outside unit
There she is, running. Running as a heat pump right now. The entire unit cost me 2,900. It was actually 28, but I gave the guy a hundred dollars tip because I felt sorry for him. But he was a good worker. He did good work. He was just uh, in a lot of pain. He had back problems, but um, yeah. So it was a good deal. I'm probably gonna use that guy again multiple times. Price is good because Goodman, I'm uh, not Goodman, but what um, other places would charge me about five grand to install, and they only charged me 2,800, and I tipped him 100. So pretty good deal. Took him a day. Yep. Extra filters.